So today we're gonna to do our third harvest. It might be our final harvest of the Dorset Naga. This plant has been very impressive. As you can see, it's very large, full of pods for the third time and plenty of unripe peppers still coming onto the plant. But last night it got into the low 40s. I think it hit 42 degrees Fahrenheit and that's pretty cold. We're starting to see some paling of the leaves. They're looking a little more yellowed, even though I'm pretty sure there's plenty of nutrition still in the soil. I did film the second picking and I picked off 175 ripe peppers, got a picture of them. So the total so far is 316 ripe Dorset Nagas, plus whatever we get today. All right, one, two. 163 additional pods, so that's a total of 479 ripe Dorset Nagas for this one plant during the season. We're definitely admitting defeat already. Chili Chump has over 700 on his plant so far and probably another harvest, but I'm still very impressed with this plant. Almost 500 ripe chilies. Not as much as I was hoping, to be honest with you. We did everything we could to give this plant what it needed. It has support, it has full sun all day, it has plenty of nutrients in the soil. The only thing that comes to mind is that it was a very rainy season. I thought it was helpful for our potted plants because we didn't have to water all that frequently. But in the end, I think we got a pretty good harvest. What do you think? If you joined us in this challenge, how did your Dorset Nagas come out? What's your total count? I will be weighing these as well, just to see what the average size of the pod is. I think that matters just as much as the count on the plant. We'll probably get a smaller fourth harvest off of this plant, but like I said, it's been getting cold. A lot of these green chilies may not ripen before the first frost arrives, but I'll be sure to update with a final total at the very end of the season. We'll see you in the next update, and thanks for watching Pepper Geek.